Hello and welcome to my new series, Let's Play Project Hospital. We're going to be saving the health service today. But first, before we jump in, a little bit about this game. It's a great indie title, it's a simulation strategy game, where, as you guessed it, we do hospitals. Um, it's not like Theme Park Hospital or... There was that other recent hospital um, strategy game, fairly similar to this. It's not in that jokey, humorous way. It's actually quite deep and quite a good simulation. We're going to be jumping in to the largest sized empty field. For this game. And we're going to kick things off once it decides to finish loading. With nothing more than just a clinic. We have to build a clinic from scratch and from there you can upgrade, build new departments, hire new doctors, so on and so forth. It's got this great little techno soundtrack as well. Do, do, do. Oh, there it goes. Right, here we go. So this is going to become our hospital. At the moment it's just an isometric empty plane. We have a road into our car park which is over here. And that's it. We have a couple of little missions. Open an emergency clinic and treat a patient. We'll come back to all these other menus. Um, but as you can see, there's lots of buttons and lots of things we can do. Thing one we're going to do... Well, we, we start paused. You can skip that. Right. So, first of all, we'll do that. And let's jump into construction mode and build our foundation, I think. What we'll do is we'll put... We'll start simply. Just do a nice little... Oh, it's a shame that's a 13 across. So I, I kind of don't really want to do such a big box. Do 13 by 8. Like that. There we go. So now we've got a foundation. So we've got a floor. We don't have walls. We have to build the walls separately. So we want exterior walls for this bit. Um, what shall we do? Concrete tiling, white exterior wall with a pattern, white exterior wall with a pattern, top base, base I think will look quite snazzy. We'll put those there and there, and down here. Now we can also paint the interior walls. If we go to, where's interior? So if I do that, that should just paint the inside. Or am I wrong? I think I'm wrong. Help everybody, it's going well. Um, so if we do that, it looks like this. Okay. So. We don't really want bricks on the inside, do we? No. Hmm. Actually, we'll, we'll do that. There we go. There we go. We've got our walling system on the go. We'll just do that for now. And this in here is going to be our basic area. So let's just white tile it out for now. There we go. And we'll start, before we do anything else, we'll put in a room. And as you see, as we get going, things will start getting what we want. A uh, double sliding glass door for the entrance. Is that four? Four. There is central. I think should be a gap on it. Oh, great. Either way, I'm going to have one extra spot, so we'll just put it slightly off kilter to there. So, yes, so we have different wards, which we haven't unlocked yet. The emergency ward, which is where everyone comes in. It's your basic emergency clinic. Radiology, where we start scanning people. Intensive care, general surgery, internal medicine, orthopedy, 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 orthopediatrics, bones. 
cardiology and neurology. So there's lots we can do, lots of diseases for us to discover. Let's start with our waiting room. So we'll assign that as our waiting room area. And we'll assign this as our reception area. See, missing equipment and missing staff. Okay, so we need to put equipment in for a waiting room. Medical equipment, furnitures and accessories. Now there is a way to tell it you just want to view stuff for a waiting room. But I can't remember how you do that. Waiting room. Waiting room must have a minimum size. There we go, you double click it, cool. So, we are going to need, in our waiting room, benches. Let's put some benches down. Perfect. An info TV sounds like a good idea. We'll put one of those in the wall just there. And they, well, we don't want to block them off too much. We'll put the vending machine by the door and the water dispenser. Like so. The Q machine just there to go next to the info machine. Let's put in a mirror as well, just so they know what's going on. Go. Seems like a good start. Now on to our reception area. We're going to want a reception sort of desk. So we'll put the middle, the left, and the, you guessed it, the right. <clears throat> put a computer on the middle. Nice little printer over there. Paper holder. Don't really need a cabinet, do we? Put a stool in, so that whoever's working... Actually, not a stool. Stools are sometimes a bit poncy, isn't it? I'll uh, delete the stool. There we go. We'll put a office chair in. Perfect. We're going to need higher staff for it as well, but before we do that, we'll continue building. Let's continue along here, which is going to become our main corridor. Um, we don't really want it to be so wide, do we? No, so we'll do a two-length corridor, and we'll have offices, five by five, well, actually, we'll just, you know what, we'll just block it out like this, because I know roughly what I'm planning on doing. There we go. So, again, we're going to need walls. These are exterior walls. I wish there was a way to, uh, like, double-click a length of wall and just say, I want all the walls on this bit to be this type of wall. But alas, that is not how it works. Go for a nice light and airy wall. Uh, three, four, five, four, five, that leaves us with that space, come along here, one, two, three, four, and five, that should give us three five by five rooms, a corridor, and this bit in here is going to be our rest room, so let us... What do we need? Well, we need a restroom. That's going to be that area in there. We'll assign this and well, hang on. Assign that and that as corridor space. I know you're not accessible just yet. So we're going to need a toilet and a toilet. sinking in the corner. There's not going to be room for a wall between those, is there? Put a bin there. Trash can. A mirror. Oh, we need the hand dryer as well. Put that there. Should be everything that we need. And now, for the wall in the middle. My old wall there. There. 
move that in there. Let's grab doors. Which are here somewhere. Here's doors. There should be just a restroom door. Water closet door. Here we go. Ah, we need to put the wall in first. That makes sense. There we go. Water closet door. Duh, duh. Perfect. And then just a generic door into the bathroom. Perfect. We're going to want doors into these rooms. And we are going to want a sliding double glass door there. So, you're going to be a doctor's office, doctor's office, doctor's office. Now there's lots that we are going to need to put into our doctor's office. They're going to need a desk, they're going to need a chair, they're going to need a computer, they're probably going to need a printer. They are going to also need a chair for the patient. Now, what do we want to put in here? We're going to want an exam table. We'll put one in every room, just there. Um, our logical material. Put the bio bins in that corner. You know, there in that room. Blood measuring. Ah, so we're going to now need a table, equipment table. One there. And that's going to have a dometer on it. We want a examination lamp. We're going to want mandatory equipment where all rooms and procedures take place. One of them in each corner. Might as well put an eye test on the walls. It's one of those things, isn't it? You're going to have to have an eye test just to make sure you can read your prescription. I want a CRP scanner, but I don't really know where to put it yet. Um, I put a cabinet along there. We'll put the CRP scanner. privacy screen. Oh well, I don't really know where to put it. Oh well, that's... They don't need privacy. What is this, a good doctor's office? No, it is not. It is a budget doctor's office. CRP scanners. FLR. The mobile equipment doodah that I put down needs to go into the other rooms. Equipment table. And that had the odometer on it. There we go. Now the other ones also need the desk. The office chair. The standard chair, which we don't really have room for here. Put that under there in that room. Um, they're going to need a computer and they're going to need a printer. So, what equipment is missing? Oh. Something to wash your hands with, I believe. So now they're just missing staff. We've still got plenty of money to get going with. So, I'm going to continue with our foundation. By building along there. Throw in another bit of wall, another length of wall on the outside. Ah, oh, we appear to have cocked up. We've got a nice little bit of overflow. Um, how do you delete? There we go. Perfect. 
we need some tiling, so we'll add light tinted tiles in there. Perfect. Actually, it's not really, is it? That works for me. Nice little laminate flooring. They're nice little offices, these ones. There we go. Now in here, so what are we missing? We are missing a stat lab. A cleaning closet. Might as well make the stat lab bigger, haven't we? There we go. Going to need a wall to divide them. Put some shelves in. And a bucket cart. And a door. Doors are helpful. Restricted area. Put a door with a window in there. So you are the stat lab. We're going to want the bin. We're going to want a lab desk with, you guessed it, a printer and a PC and a chair. And now, everything else we need. We're going to need the card file. We're going to need a scrubs shelf. We're going to need An equipment cabinet. We're going to then need to get these things. So we're going to need a medical centrifuge, a laboratory sink, a shelf, some sample storage. Now everything else has to go on a desk of some sort. A desk there. And we'll put a desk. Can't really put one there, can we? Going to need a lab analyzer. Some glassware. Um uh, Um I have room. Why can't I put one of those there? Oh I see. Put an equipment table there and there. You can throw into that bin, can't you? Oh, actually, no, what we'll do, if we cycle this around, put that there, put the chair there, put the bin put the bin there, and put that table there, there we go. Blood analyzer and a stool analyzer. So all we're now listening missing rather is a microscope. The radio immunocy is mandatory equipment for labs. It measures different antigen concentrations and a thermal oh, so we're going to need one of these buggers as well. Okay. Well we will get rid of of the equipment cabinet. Well, we'll get rid of you as well. We will therefore put another desk in in this corner with the RIA on it and the stool analyzer because we have the lab shelf which is most of the equipment anyway. So, oh, it also needs flooring. Flooring is good feel like you should be tiled and you in there should just be panelled generic flooring. There we go. So now we're sort of set up. We now need to just hire some staff, which we will do by clicking this button. Clicking in here. Sorry, that is not the button I was looking for. Hire staff. So, hire, let's start by hiring a janitor. You're a level 1 janitor, you're a level 3 janitor. We'll get Miss Brown. We 
go. Miss Jessica Brown. Perfect. Now we're going to need a receptionist. So we're going to need a nurse with the receptionist skill, I believe. Um, find new candidates, reveal perks. I need to find a nurse who can... Or is it a doctor that... High staff receptionist, okay. None of these people have the receptionist skill. Find new candidates. Receptionist! Huzzah! Here we go. Now for our doctors. Well, let's get... Actually, you look like a good choice for the uh, small office. Okay, we know. Don't worry, we're not we're not ready to get going yet. Diagnosis is high on you, so you're going to be our main doctor, and then we'll just get generic doctor. Uh, Karen looks slightly better. She's better at diagnosis, and that's about it. You're better at everything. For five dollars, I think it's probably worth it. Right, so, we can now accept patience, which means you can enable or un unable, enable, disable, accepting patients from different insurers, we're going to enable them from the uninsured folk, we're going to press play, let's let the game speed start clicking on. Now we're only going to run during the day for now, we don't have enough staff, but we've got a small little clinic. And look, our patient's come in. He's being tended to. He's got limited leg motion. He's currently being diagnosed. No clear diagnosis. The patient will leave soon. Okay. Now, this is where this game's interesting. We can try and work out what he has ourselves. So, if we had differential diagnosis, di diagnosis we could maybe work it out by, well... literally trial and error. We could x-ray the limb that's limited in leg motion, or we could send him to an MRI. We don't have an MRI, we don't have an x-ray machine, and he's not good enough to do that. And he's done all of these things here. Now, the possible diagnoses are fairly high. There's a lot of them. but And they all really require orthopedy, unless it's just a leg contusion. So, what we're going to do to him is give him doctor's recommendations, give him an ice wrap, and give him some pain relief, and then sort of send him on the way. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna reckon it's a bruise. It's got swelling, pain, limited leg motion, and a hidden symptom we don't know about. But we'll give him those, and we'll send him to another hospital. Now, patient number two. Oh, it's going well. It's going well. Why does everyone have bruises? Ah, something we can actually do. Don't we have staff in our lab? We literally can't build any other things. Oh, I lie. We can build radiology. Maybe we should have built radiology. Also, perhaps we should have hired staff for our, um... It's gone well, guys. It's gone very, very well. Uh, how do we hire more staff again? How does one hire staff? Hire staff. Um... You'll save the day! Did you do... Missing equipment. What equipment is missing? Well, what, what equipment is missing? I don't understand. <laughs> Why won't you tell me? C can you, can you tell me, please? make the room bigger so that we can you know see more
you know, because knocking down a wall during service. Huzzah! There we go. So what's... So what's actually missing from here? Another desk in there with the thermal cycler microscope on it. Ah, now you're just missing staff. Perfect. Perfect. Um, master scientist. There you go. And let's put some flooring in. And we'll worry about the fact we have another doctor wandering around. Because we'll assign him to our new radiology department, which we're going to build very shortly. There we go. Perfect. So, Chief Doctor is going to be... Um, you. And now we're going to need to... Extend the corridor. This is going to be radiology. There we go. Um, Radiology, what do we need in radiology? We need a corridor. Well, we don't need a corridor. We don't really need a cleaning, we don't need these. Cag room! Oh my word. X ray rooms need to be 5 by 5. We'll put the X ray room there. Small waiting room there. Oh, four by two. There, perfect. Well, so we'll just do that. Put the door in. The magic mystical door. Double glass door, perfect. Waiting room. Guessed it. Bench, 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 bench. Q machine. Info TV. There we go. Over here, I want an X ray. X ray control panel. X ray viewer. Wall mounted cupboard. Officey desk. PC, chair, dressing screens in there, and a privacy screen. Make that. No, no, that looks really stupid, doesn't it? Again, with the we don't really care about the privacy thing. But we are going to need to put in some walls. That, and some doors. <laughs> and then a door with a window in there. Perfect. Um, missing staff. Okay. Radiology. X-ray room. Staff. You're pretty good at radiology. Perfect. We now have a radiology department that is functioning. Huzzah! Right. Let's continue going again. So you have a nail fungus. We'll send you off to do that. 
been sent to X-Ray. Oh, we can now contact Cheapo Care. And with that, if you've liked the start of my hospital, if you've liked what you've seen so far, it only gets better from here. Remember, the first episode is literally just building the hospital. The second episode, we're going to be expanding. We're going to be getting much larger, much bigger, much, much more impressive. We're probably, we're quite a way away from unlocking hospitalization, but we're going to put in a common room, expand radiology up here, get the CAG, CT and MRIs going, put in a proper restroom, and yeah. So if you like the look of Project Hospital, I know this first episode's been a bit slow going, we've been unlocking things and looking at things. Oh my god, you've got a lot of problems, but you've got an ankle contusion, so that's good, we've worked out what you have. Blunt heart injury. Physical trauma to a chest area resulting in trauma to the heart needs cardiovascular surgery. I hope they don't have that, because we can't do that. But, you know, go get an x-ray of the chest and add a chest exaltation. Yeah. What's this lady here got? Nail fungus. Nail fungus. Well, you know, it's probably nail fungus. Give her antifungal ointment. There we go. Anyway, if you've liked it, like it. If you want to see more of it, subscribe to it. Please leave a comment down below. Any tips or tricks. This is my first time playing this game, really. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching, and have a great night, guys.